Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Michelle Iqbal and I am your science teacher of level 4. Today in this video we will discuss the exercise of unit number 4 characteristic of living thing. Now take out your copies and start writing. First of all we will start short question answer. Question number 1. What is the function of a vacuole? Answer is the function of vacuole is to store food water and waste substances. Question number two. What is the function of chloroplast in plant cell? Answer is chloroplast absorbs energy from the sun and helps the plant to make its food. Question number three. Where do animals get their energy from? Animals get their energy by eating different plants and other animals. Question number 4. Why do animals move from place to place? Answer. Animals move from place to place in search of food, water, shelter and to avoid danger. Question number 5. What is reproduction? Answer is. Reproduction is a process by which living things produce their offspring. Now, Give the heading of long question answer. Question number one. Give a comparison of an animal cell and a plant cell. Answer is an animal cell and a plant cell. On one side you will write an animal cell and on another side you will write a plant cell. In the point number one in animal cell outer covering is cell membrane and in plant cell outer covering is cell wall. Point number two, in animal cell, nucleus is present in the center. Plant cell, nucleus is pushed to one side. Number three, many small vacuoles are present in animal cell. A large central vacuole is present in a plant cell. And last point is, there is no chloroplast in animal cell. And chloroplast is present in a plant cell. Question number two. Give two examples how plant and animal rely on each other. Example number one. All living things take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. Plant use carbon dioxide to make food and give oxygen. Example number two. Plants give food to animal and human. Animals and human gives manure to plants. Manure means cart. Okay, question number three. Why frogs are called amphibians? Reason. The word amphibians mean two lives. Those vertebrates which can live in water as well as on land and lay eggs in water. They are called amphibians. As frogs, they can live in water as well as on land and also lay eggs in water. So they are called amphibians. Question number four. Explain how you know that humans are a different species to other animals. Answer is humans are a different species to other animals because humans, they can think, they can speak and they are social. They express their feelings through their words. Like animals, they do not speak, they do not think and they do not express their feelings. So human beings, they are different species to other animals. Now choose the correct answer. Do these all exercises on your book, page number 39. Number 1. Another word for movement is option number C, locomotion. Point number 2. We need to look after plants and animals because we depend on each other for life. Plants and animals also depend on each other. Point number three. What heads from the egg of a grasshopper? Nymph. Option B. Nymph. Number four. The egg of butterfly heads into larva. Butterfly. It is changed into the larva. And number five is. What go grows from a seed when it germinates? Option is root. 
Now fill in the blanks on your book page number 39. Number 1. Humans and other animals take in oxygen and breathe dash carbon dioxide. Number 2. Plants make their own food by a process called photosynthesis. Point number 3. All living things do the following. They excrete, they need food for their life, they move, they can reproduce, they can respire, they show some sensitivity and they can grow. And point number four, plants and animals rely on each other. And point number five, plants produce dye which is in the air we breathe in. Plants produce oxygen. Now, question number 3 on your book, page number 40, mark the sentences with true or false. Number 1, plants never move false. On, number 2, only plant cells have chloroplast. True. Point number 3, all living things grow. True. Point number 4, all life cycle have three stages. False. Some animals, they have three stages. Some animals have four stages. Point number five. Frogs' eggs are called fry. False. Fish' eggs are called fry. And point number six. Human inherit all the characteristics from their parents. False. Now, now what, sh what you should do? You should draw the diagram of animal cell plant cell and the life cycle of fish in your copies. Thank you.